everyone, this is Lisa from the Rhinestone World, and in this video I'm going to show you how to design and place a custom monogram onto a cloth Bible that I got from Amazon. In this video I'm going to be using our Caesar heat transfer vinyl and my Silhouette Cameo. I'm in my Silhouette Studio workspace. So what I'm gonna do for this monogram is I'm actually gonna create it with what's called an offset. I want a border around my monogram so that I can define it easily on top of the pattern. So it'll take a couple extra steps in addition to what we normally do for a monogram, but it'll help with the details immensely. So I'm gonna go over to my text tool and I'm gonna to type into my workspace. So I'll do LPM and I'll do lowercase, uppercase, lowercase. Now go ahead and choose my monogram font. So I am using Vine Monogram. I purchased it from Font Brothers. So you can see I have my monogram right here, and it's all set. Now if you look at it, I do have overlapping lines. Right now, my software is reading them as individual letters, so what I need to do is I need to get rid of the overlapping lines and make them one object together. And we're gonna do that by doing what's called a weld. So I'm gonna go over to the Modify panel, weld it, and now you can see that these lines are all gone. They're not overlapping anymore. And just to make it easier to see, I'm going to fill this in. And this will be a gold monogram, so I just went ahead and filled it in with the closest I could get to gold. And now what I need is a border to define my shape. So we're gonna go over here to our offset panel. We're gonna click right here on offset. Now your default distance is gonna be 0.125. You can get a preview of what it's gonna look like right here. Now I want it to be a little bit closer to my design, so I'm just gonna type in here 0 0.10, and I'm gonna hit enter. Enter will allow me to preview it. That way I'm not stuck on having that offset and I can change it as I go. So I like this preview. I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply. Now I have my offset here. And I'm gonna go over here, go to my fill color panel and fill in a color. And now you can see this is what my monogram will somewhat look like. You know, there will be some modifications, you know, the colors will be a little bit off, but that's a good picture of what it could look like. So now what I need to do is I need to size it. So the available space to press it onto on my book is about five inches wide. I want it to be fairly large. I want to fill up a lot of the space, so I need it to be around four and a half inches wide. So right now I have two shapes together and I want to size them at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group them. So right click group and right here is our scale panel. This is how you can scale your shape up or down and you can also specify exactly the dimensions you want it to be. So right here I have my width and my height. I'm just going to go ahead and type in 4.5, hit enter and because I've locked the aspect it'll change my height for me and then hit apply and this is the size that my monogram is going to be. So now you have two options for cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and just do cut by color to make it easier, I don't have to move anything. So I'll right click on my design, flip horizontally, and I'm doing that because I'm cutting heat transfer vinyl. So we wanna mirror our heat transfer vinyl. And I'll go to my uh, rectangle tool and draw a rectangle around my shape. Now I do this because it makes it easier for me to weed out my design. I can very quickly find the square and take it out. Uh, you don't have to do that, obviously it's up to you, but I enjoy this method. And now I'm gonna go ahead and take my design and go to my cut settings panel. And we're gonna go to advanced cut settings. This is how we cut by color. So you can see anything that has a bold line around it will be cut. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut my outside layer and my easy weed. So I wanna get this box to cut, and then I also want to uncheck the gold. So now you can see just the outline is cutting. And because I'm doing multiple different types of vinyl, I want to be very careful to make sure I have the right settings for each. So right here you can see what type of vinyl it's going to be set to. I'm gonna click on this color, go to my user defined, and find where I've programmed easy weed. And you can program your settings using this plus and minus. It's a great method to do when you're doing a lot of different things. Easy weed. So now we're all set with this. I'm going to adjust my cut settings, make sure they're all set. And then I'm going to send my first color to the cutter. And once I'm done with that, I'll just go ahead, uncheck blue, check the gold, and this will be in glitter HTV. So this is all set and I just need to change this box to do glitter HTV. And I'm going to be cutting on Caesar glitter HTV. So I'm going to go ahead, send this to the cutter, then I'll weed it, and we'll be ready to press this onto our book. Here is my Bible. This is 
from the ESV. It's a journaling Bible, so it has little sides there. Um, and it's this nice little pattern here that I enjoyed. It's like this vintage flower. So I wanted to basically monogram it, just like you can get your Bibles engraved. I'm gonna use glitter vinyl to do that. So I cut out my vinyl for this. This is Caesar Easy Weed and Navy, and this is Caesar Glitter and Old Gold. Now if you look, if I were to place this right on here like that, it's very hard to see. So that is the reason why we do an offset. Because once we do that, shoom, look at that. It's really nice and defined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to layer my glitter right on top of my Easy Weed for this project. And I'm gonna find my placement on here. We're just gonna set it up like that. And what I'm gonna do is I basically want to tack down my first color, my navy, and then put my glitter on top. And I'm going to be using a home iron for this project because I wanna be able to check it frequently. You can press this to the top of your heat press, but I found that I get a little too excited and I end up melting parts of my vinyl. So I'm gonna use my parchment paper, that way I can kinda of see through there. And I have my iron set to the hottest setting on linen, and I'm just gonna press straight down so that I can get pressure on there and heat. So I only want enough to activate my vinyl onto the book. So I'm just pushing down with a lot of force. Okay, so now I'm gonna check on it. You can see it is darker in some areas. So there's my first color down. Now I can bring it closer. You can kind of see where the paper is but I have a nice good stick to this. It's nice and smooth. So let's drop our glitter on here. And we're gonna do short presses with this as well because what we wanna keep from happening is we wanna keep the vinyl from shrinking. So let's drop it like this. Bring our parchment paper over and then again, push straight down, put some force into it. We're just gonna do it a couple seconds at a time, just so we, so we don't put too much heat on the vinyl and melt it or anything like that. Now let's check on this. You can see my book is kind of folding up a little bit from the heat. I'm gonna put weight on it once I'm done with this to kind of get that to bring back. So now I'm gonna check on it. There's a good stick on there. And now we have a custom monogram Bible. So we did our Caesar Easy Weed in navy, our Caesar Glitter in old gold, and we just pressed it with a home iron. So if you, if you have any other questions, you can email us at info at Hey everyone, if you want to get any of the materials in this video, I can post a link. I got this Bible from Amazon. This is an ESV journaling Bible. I used our Caesar Easy Weed in navy and our Caesar Glitter Vinyl in old gold. You can purchase both these colors on our website and you can also purchase the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition upgrade at our website as well.